Assalamu alaikum my name is Shan I have made another project with a buzzer and a push button so in this project we are going to control a buzzer with a push button as you can see from uh, see here So, I'll tell you how to make it. Let's begin. So here as you can see, we are going to need a push button, a buzzer and some male to male wires. So, I'll show you the connection. First you take the buzzer and put it in here. Fix it in. Then you are going to use a wire. You are going to put it in the positive one and then into 5 volts as you can see here 5 volts or win then you are going to put the negative one so here as you can see we are putting the negative one and then we are going to use we are going to connect the negative one here then you are going to use another wire connecting from the push button here then you are going to use it like this then you are going to put the positive voltage from here like this take this from here Now for the final steps, you are going to use another wire. From here, I mean from the negative one here to the negative in the buzzer. Then the positive of the buzzer I'm going to connect the positive voltage from the buzzer to the push button and as you can hear it is ringing then you have to connect the positive of the push button to the positive of the buzzer see as I click the push, push button, it turns off. So, as you can see here, now the circuit is functional. Now, I'm going to explain you how I made it. First, I connected the positive of the Arduino here or win 5 volts or win of the Arduino to the positive of the breadboard. Then I connected the GND or ground to the negative of the Arduino. Then I connected the negative and positive wires to the push button. Then I connected the positive and negative to the buzzer. And now this is the positive one. This is the negative one. And when I push the button, it stops the current from flowing. And that's why the buzzer stops ringing. As you can see the lights in the Arduino also turn off when I push the button.